Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning about angles. What are angles? Angles are formed when two rays share a common endpoint. Angles are measured in degrees. The sign for degrees is this circle over here. It is usually put on the top right side of the number. Types of angles. There are seven types of angles. Acute angle, obtuse angle, right angle, straight angle, reflex angle, complete angle and zero angle. Zero angle. Zero angle has to be equal to exactly zero degrees. In this angle, both the rays are on top of each other and that will make it exactly zero degrees. Acute angle. An acute angle is greater than zero degrees but lesser than 90 degrees. This angle over here has two rays. First ray is ray A. The second ray is ray C. Ray C will always be at zero degrees and ray A will be at the number of degrees that we want to make the angle at. 30 degrees is greater than zero degrees but it is lesser than 90 degrees. Right angle. A right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. Over here, this angle is equal to exactly 90 degrees. We can understand that it is a right angle if it is exactly 90 degrees and instead of making a circle, it will make a square. Obtuse angle. An obtuse angle has to be greater than 90 degrees but lesser than 180 degrees. Over here, this angle, angle XYZ is 120 degrees. Now 120 degrees is greater than 90 degrees but it is lesser than 180 degrees. Straight angle. A straight angle has to be exactly 180 degrees. Over here, this angle has two rays that are laid down straight according to its name. It is exactly 180 degrees and makes a semicircle when drawn. A reflex angle. A reflex angle has to be more than 180 degrees but lesser than 360 degrees. Over here, this angle, angle CPA is equal to 200 degrees. 200 degrees is greater than 180 degrees but it is lesser than 360 degrees. Now this angle makes a bit more than a semicircle but it is not quite a full circle yet. Complete angle. A complete angle is a full 360 degree angle. It is the greatest angle. Over here, this angle is equal to 360 degrees. Now, this might look like 0 degrees, but actually it is not. See, it makes this full circle over here, indicating that it is 360 degrees. A full circle equals 360 degrees. Parts of an angle. An angle has three parts, the vertex, the arms and the angle itself. Vertex. The vertex is the point of intersection of the rays. See over here, 
This circle is known as the vertex. When the two rays meet together, the common endpoint that they share is known as the vertex. Arms. The arms are the rays that share a common endpoint to form an angle. See, this is an arm and this is the second arm. The first arm is arm AB or ray AB. The second arm is arm BC or ray BC. Angle. The angle is the distance between the arms. See, when these two rays meet together and meet at the common vertex or the common endpoint, they form an angle. The pink shaded area over here is the angle. It is the distance covered by the two rays. How to measure an angle? We use a protractor to measure an angle. This over here is a protractor. This is a full 360 degree protractor. Now let's make angles. To make angles, first we need to start off by marking the vertex. Now we need to place our first ray on 0 degrees and the second ray on any number. First let's make an acute angle. So an acute angle is anything ranging from 1 degree to 89 degrees. I want to make a 50 degree angle. So we need to place a second ray on 50 degrees. This angle over here is a 50 degree angle. Now let's make a right angle. A right angle has to be exactly 90 degrees and it takes the form of a square instead of a circle. Again we have to start off by marking our vertex and placing the first ray at 0 and the second ray at 90 because it needs to be exactly 90 degrees. Now instead of forming a circle it will form a square like this. This is exactly 90 degrees. Now let's make an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle can be anything ranging from 91 degrees to 179 degrees. Let's mark out our vertex, put the first ray at 0 and put the second ray where we want it to be. Now I want a 120 degree angle. So let's put our second ray at 120 degrees. Yes, so now this angle over here is exactly a 120 degree angle. Now let's make a straight angle. For the straight angle we need it to be exactly 180 degrees. Let's mark out our vertex, place our first ray and the second ray needs to be at 182. So this makes a straight angle and it forms a semicircle. Now we should make a reflex angle. In reflex angle it can be anything ranging from 181 degrees to 359 degrees. I want a 305 degree angle. Let's mark out our vertex, place our first ray at 0 and we have to mark our second ray at 305 degrees. Now since 305 degrees isn't marked but we know that it is between 300 and 310, it should be somewhere over here. Let's mark that out. This is a 305 degree angle. Now the last angle should be a complete angle. Now we'll make a complete angle. 
A complete angle has to be exactly 360 degrees. So let's mark out our vertex. Place our first ray at 0. Now just so you know that there are two rays, I'm going to mark an arrow and put another one over here. So now that you know that it is a full 360 degree angle, not a zero angle. Thank you all so much for attending my class and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!